comes with every single order, by the way. So you'll get one of these. Oh, hello there, Kevin. <laughs> the fountain's going underwater a little bit. Uh, the rock that actually anchors that fountain down sinks into the mud. So every once in a while, I gotta go out there and pick it back up. What is going on Kaferos? Welcome back to another video. Today um, we're, we're doing a feeding video. We are going to feed our giant concrete 4,000 gallon aquarium that I have yet to feed on video. I've, I've been feeding them, training them, at least doing my best to train them in the past couple of days so we can make this exact banger right here. Look how feisty they all are. I mean they are a totally different breed. Paku are all feisty. There's our little bass. Stump Junior down there. We don't really have a name for him. If you want to try to, you know, name him, drop some comments down below for the little bass. Of course, here is Stump. Can't mistake Stump, but we're going to be getting underwater footage of this entire pond and everything eating. If you're new to the channel, first of all, what is going on? My name is Paul Caffaro. We got a giant farm, lots of animals, and in today's video, like I mentioned previously, we'll be feeding these monster fish right here. There is uh, the water's a little bit low, but there is all uh, sorts of catfish in here. Marble Dakara. Uh, tiger shovel nose, red tail catfish. Again, underwater footage will be later on in this video. Melanistic gar right here, which, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. And look how feisty they are. They're all fired up. I did not feed yesterday on purpose because today was feeding day. So all the fish are just sitting literally right under me here waiting for me to drop something. Especially these platinums, man. They're just fired up, both of them. See their whiskers are all sprouted out. Look, they're trying to eat the laser. They're trying to eat the laser on. <laughs> so this tells us the temperature of the pond. Oh, is it there? Yeah, 76 degrees. See that right there? 76, literally perfect. I keep this here just to make sure. It has gotten up to like 80 degrees. So this heater, by the way, if I turned it all the way up, it would be ridiculous. This is one of the craziest projects that has ever happened on this entire farm here. And again, we have a couple other things to do before we get to this, but I do want to explain and kind of recap on how crazy this project was. I had a vision that I wanted to do something different. We were going to initially get a fiberglass pond and we moved away from that and I, we actually custom built this right here from start to finish is just absolutely ridiculous look at this thing literally started off with absolutely nothing but a frame which is of course how you start anything off we've come a long way rebar is all in all around the entire pond there'll be plywood right here and then you pour the concrete in so picture a piece of plywood right here you pour the concrete in there and that'll create a wall you let it sit for a couple days and let it dry that's the videos to come Hector really pulled through and throughout the next two or three, four parts that we did building this right here, it came out beautiful. a little bit, be sure it's tight. That didn't take you long at all, Hector. That side, this side, and the other side. The back side, we're, we're obviously not gonna do. I mean, it's, can't even see it. Now, whatever overhangs, they gotta cut. They'll actually use the pieces they cut to then fill in spots like this. We got that backsplash right here. We got the tile on top. It just looks so good. And let alone, we built a literally a mansion for our filtration. Check this thing out. I mean, it is the exact same thing as my house. It has shingles on it. The roof is the same as my roof. Look at this thing, right? We got the power supply right there for our UVs which are right there. That is what keeps all that algae out of our pond that we've always had issues with here. There is our heater, all wired up, as you can see, right there. Yeah, all the plumbing is set up, no leaks. Haven't had any more issues, at least, since we fixed the first one. Now that you're all caught up on this beautiful project here, I'm hoping Thump eats today, and if he doesn't, we're still gonna get a really cool feeding out of every other fish and eventually we will get him on camera he has eaten one time i've seen him eat one tilapia that i threw in here 
but I wasn't recording. Of course, I was just test feeding, pretty much trying to fire everything up, so when I made this video, it would be much more interesting. Y'all know, this pond over here is absolutely loaded with tilapia. I've bred them for months and months, years actually, inside this pond so that I wouldn't have to spend so much money to feed these guys right here. Although, I've been feeding them shrimp along with the tilapia, just so the catfish eat, like, guarantee, you know, they can catch the tilapia, but I want to make sure everything is on a very healthy, fattening diet, because I want everything to just get big. So yeah, hopefully we get everything to eat today. Without further ado though, we gotta feed all the animals and do something over here because guess who's trying to get out again? Yeah, the escape artist Boots is getting out again. And he's doing exactly what I assumed he was going to do since I put the board on the door. What's going on guys? How you doing? How you all doing? This is Boots. He's definitely the most friendly goat we've had on the farm. Um, but I had to put this board up because he jumps off this, when it was a cage at least, put his hook in there, kicked off, landed on here, and then jumped out. Now Boots, that I've taken this away from him, has resorted to actually jumping on the bars right here, hopping onto that tree over there. I'm not kidding, I found him up there this morning. Morning. and then jumping out into here so I'm telling you this goat is like a ninja parkour born with it it's insane hi Oscar what's up bud pretty much how they're sitting up against the fence I got to put them up there so it kind of just covers that if you know what I'm saying so we're gonna get these over into that enclosure do a little bit of and then uh, we'll be done with that hey. That one right there, that one can go right there. All right, so they didn't quite fit from here to there, if you get what I'm saying. So what I did was kind of just pin them from the fence on here with not as much of a ledge. So I just pretty much drilled in nails like that at an angle. Nail right there, nail right there, and this thing isn't going anywhere. I mean, the only way to get this out is if you lift it up and over all the nails. He ate all the leaves off of every single plant back here, literally. Boots is an absolute, to say the least, goat. All of them are in. <laughs> I literally had to put this here because he, he could literally quadruple off this and land on this and then get, like he's trying it right now already. We, it's been 30 seconds and you're already trying to get out. As if these goats have never eaten before, they are hyper than ever. And then mama goes just chilling. But here we go. There you go guys, eat up. <laughs> what the heck? What do I got, goats or pigs? Hey, Chuck. There you go. And there you go. Looks like you guys have been mudding lately, huh? Gotta fill up your water. Now that everything is eaten over here, it is silent. As you can hear, no more. Ah! The dang goose has got a mind of its own. See? Oh, got some food for you. Hear a mooing? He's gonna come around the corner any second. Oh, big boy. What's up, bud? You got some right there? And she's got some over here, but she usually doesn't come until I walk fully away. He hasn't been drinking out of this. He kind of just like, you know, like, I used to keep fresh water in this bin, but he just literally would pour the fresh water out, fling the bucket everywhere. So he drinks out of the pond, which is, a, which I figured was what he was going to do. Um, but yeah, there's no point. So I just used it to cover our bin so that the food grain doesn't get wet. <laughs> got to get you guys some more alfalfa hay today. That is it. Everything has eaten. And without further ado, we got to run to Publix just real quick in the snap of a finger to get some shrimp. We also have some casting to do. That way we can feed them live tilapia and frozen shrimp. Here we go, the 4,000 gallon pond, fish feeding. In this pond there's a bunch of different species of fish. Red tail catfish, tiger shovel nose, a bunch of paku, there's even bicher, ripping up a shrimp, melanistic gar, all black, super cool fish, a bunch of species of plecos, raphael catfish, oscars, platinum red tail catfish, and thump. This is gonna be an epic feeding. All right, now that you know every single fish species that is in this pond right here, we're gonna head over with my little handy dandy tilapia cup and go catch some fish 
out of our tilapia stocked pond back there. Let's go. Got a cast net. It's not a big cast net, but it's a cast net. It'll do the job. This, I don't keep these yet because I'm trying to breed these in this pond. It's called a Mayan cichlid, but we're not going to keep these. We're throwing these back. And this time of year, it's not really breeding season, so not many, but we'll get it done. Is that anything? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Just like that, the water's dirty, but the fish are clean. And we got some live feeder fish inside here. Now, let's get out of this enclosure before Gary attacks them. All right, we're back at the pond now. Hopefully the fish eat like I'm assuming they're gonna eat. I don't know if the big thump is gonna eat. I'm really hoping so. But uh, we're gonna throw some live fish in right in front of us here and see what happens with the first little live tilapia. Ready? Let's see who gets it. The smaller bass got that one. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get him to eat actually another one, but I'm gonna hold the GoPro this time so I make sure I get it. Oh my gosh. That was insane, dude. He ate that thing so fast. Got another live fish. We're gonna throw a couple this time. So I have a nice little handful of live tilapia that we just cast in the backyard. Oh gosh, they're feisty already. Let's see. Let's see if Dump wants to eat. Oh my gosh, dude, that little bass is just a nut job. That is why I put the little bass in there, is to fire up the big thump. Thump is not quite as aggressive as I thought he would be just yet. We're gonna definitely get some feedings on him eventually. Um, but right now, he just doesn't look like he's too feisty. Maybe not, he doesn't wanna eat, you know? It's gonna be hard to train fish that big to hand feed, but it's 100% it's possible and we're 100% gonna do it. That little one, though, will be hand feeding long before the big one, I can tell you that. The big fish just has a little bit of adjusting to do. It's not, it hasn't even been in here for like a week and a half, what is it, a week and a half now? It hasn't been long. Got more live ones right here. We're gonna just release them out of my hand. All right, now that we have fed all the live fish, oh, they're still getting eaten over there, that's crazy. We are now rinsing out the shrimp bag. So what I do is just get some water from the pond, scoop a little bit, shake it, because all this shrimp is frozen. Shake it a little bit, and the water that comes out is ice cold shrimp nasty water. That way, the fish just get some nice, clean shrimp. All right. And it also defrosts the shrimp in the process of doing that. I got the GoPro right down here again, and we're just gonna drop these pieces of shrimp. I'm just gonna literally break them up and throw them in. And look at this, look at the Oscar. We're just gonna keep on throwing shrimp. The GoPro shell do its thing down there. Plus this our feed right here. Oh my gosh, it took my finger off. Hungry. There you go. That's awesome. Thump just came right up to the camera and swerved. That was insane. Okay, regardless, amazing footage underwater, but the fish didn't eat as if I wanted them to. They're so much more aggressive. So what I'm gonna do is actually grab as much of the shrimp off the bottom I can get, and tonight we're gonna come back out to the pond and see if they wanna eat. I don't know what it is, but at nighttime, these fish are 13 times as fired up. With these lights on, it's a whole nother game. This man. We'll do anything to make this feeding video good. Smash that like button. All right. That was super cool. I love going in this pond. I've only been in it once. Click the video up on the screen. Yep, only been in it once. That video was epic. The fish definitely would've ate this stuff, but I don't want him to eat it because I want to get it on video later. So we're gonna wait till nighttime. I will see you in, um, when the sun goes down. Check it out. All our clowns are eating. Look at that. So sick. And we got our harptail blennies right here. Another one down here eating, as you can see. Boonk. It is so cool. And it's just the beginning. These guys are all, as you can see, I put the shrimp, I put a half a cube right now uh, until we get more fish and I'll do a full cube, but I'll, like 75% of a little frozen cube right there. And it just spreads throughout the tank and you'll see all the corals will actually eat. You can see our little shrimp, the shrimp's right there eating. Uh, the conks come out, you can see the eyeball of the conch. 
He's got his little trunk going around the sand. Look at this giant turbo snail right there on the other side. We'll go around this side. There he is eating away. If you look closely, you see that? His mouth going. He is eating away right now. If we just look real closely, we gotta do a glass cleaning for sure here soon. But uh, oh gosh, these clowns are just going crazy on this food. And so is his blenny. Look at the stomach on the blenny now. Had a good old chunky stomach. And we got our pajama cardinals, which move really quickly, but you'll see they're, they're, you can see they're eating as well. We definitely gotta get more fish for this tank here soon, for sure. I wanna see like just fish everywhere. Regardless, everything is doing amazing in this tank. It looks beautiful, and I got the lights off here, so it gives it a nice glow. But saltwater fish feeding isn't anything crazy yet, but as you can see, there are uh, fish and coral and snails, crabs, stuff like that, happily eating in this tank and only more to come. You already know the saltwater series is like the biggest series on my channel at the moment. Every time I post a saltwater video, you guys blow it up. So don't worry, more to come on the saltwater. All right, it is officially nighttime now. <laughs> it is nighttime now and as you can see, all the lights are lighting up the pond. For some reason, I can't get the lights in the pond on right now. Oh my God, thump, be thump, thump. Oh my goodness. Something got his tail. <clears throat> I wonder what that was. The Paku in here have been a very big issue and I assume, remember when I did this fish transfer video, I mentioned that I was probably gonna get rid of the Paku. By getting rid, I mean probably bring in predatory fins or something because they always mess with the fish. So like the gar right here, this fin on this side, or is it this side? It's one of the sides, there it is. Oh, did you see it? The gar actually has one of his fins nipped off by a Paku, and it's been like that for a long time, ever since it was like smaller when I had it. But now, Thump's got a little chunk out of his tail that's now healing, of course, you can see how it's healing. And not only that, they eat all the food I feed these fish. Like, I'll throw food in, and the Paku don't stop eating. Now listen, everyone's gotta eat, of course, right? But the other fish very rarely get food unless I throw so much more, and that causes me to buy a lot more food, which is spending a lot more money. When I mean a lot, I mean these bags of shrimp are literally like the size of my palm, and they're $13 and I could go through two of those in a day. So put that numbers together, that's $26 a day, five times a week, this adds up real quick. So Paku are, gotta go probably soon. Um, I'll obviously document doing that so you guys don't think they just disappeared. The fish are fired up though. You can see the platinums that are right here. I mean, this light on top of the camera really gets a good view on these fish. I never really noticed that. Look at the little bass. This thing's a beast. Look how fat he is. Although we did not get big old Thumper to eat this video, it's going to happen. He looks absolutely amazing, other than the little nip off his tail. And then it just goes, whoosh, hand feeds, blows up, chases baits around the pond. It gets crazy, and I promise you it's going to happen. Anyway, the 4,000 gallon pond feeding, part two, nighttime edition. Uh, I got to go inside my room and feed them through the window, because that's where they like me feeding them for some reason. They love when I feed them right here. Let's go do that. <laughs> I don't really film at night, but thank God for this light. That's all I gotta say. Unlock the window, and hopefully, don't want to give us a better performance, huh? At least I really hope so. This is how I usually feed them, though, right outside my window. Got a bag of shrimp, and let's see if anything wants to eat at night. What is gonna be the first thing to eat here tonight? Let's see, uh... Oh, and the bass. Dude, that little bass is an absolute beast. Ready? Oh, Oscar got that one. This light up on top of the camera really helps. All three of those. Whoa, something just ate one of them. Oh, here the catfish are. Here the catfish are. Getting fired up. See, at night, it's just so much more different at night. I don't know what it is, but the fish love nighttime. Ready? There's a piece right there. Paku are coming up. Oh, the Paku are just going crazy, but the catfish are coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, red tails. Come on, red tails. Come on, red tails. Come on, red tails. Paku, man. Oh, that's catfish gonna get it out of his mouth. You don't need it. Good stuff, Paku. That's it. Red tails are getting one of these. Oh yeah, red tail got one. Ready? Ready? Boom! Platinum got one. Boom! Platinum got another. And red tail, red tail, red tail, red tail got that. One. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. These dang Paku, man. They eat like all them. Oh, he's still a platinum grab one. There he goes. Still eating on it. He's gonna get it. Whoop, sucked it right up. Good stuff. This light on top of the camera really helps. Oh, and it's, it's, it's really blinding too. All right, let me crawl back into the window here. That's how you do a window fish feeding right there. 
It is unbelievably windy today. Next morning here, just wanted to say thank you so much for making it to this point in this video. For all of you that watch my videos all the way through, we've been making a lot longer videos these days and I couldn't appreciate it more. What the living heck was that? That was a feather that fell from the sky. For real though, what I do here is not possible without any of you watching, so I thank you so much for that. And if you haven't joined the family, hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure to smash the like button. If you hit the like button, I will dip my head in the pond behind me. Ready? On three, you hit the like button. Ready? Three, two, there's a bunch of Oscars looking right at me. I might hit one with my forehead. One. <gasps> Better have hit that like button. Oh, now it's freezing because the wind is insane. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the merch. Don't forget. See you in the next one. Peace out.